What's up everyone, my name is Andres Garcia and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 essential YouTube channels that helped me learn general chemistry when I took the class. I found that all these channels came into play at some point in time when I took the class as I feel like you can't always get all the information just from one source and it's not always the case that the professor that you have for the class is going to explain it in a way that you're going to understand. But you probably already know that so with that being said, let's get into it. The first channel that I recommend is Crash Course. I've mentioned this channel before on my channel as I really feel like they've covered so much within like the pre-med space has really made it easy to learn. Crash Course gives tons of simple explanations and it gives plenty of examples to follow it up. And the great thing with Crash Course is that they give an amazing visual experience when watching the videos. Their videos are super easy to follow along with because they provide plenty of like animations and visuals that make your viewing experience at least more enjoyable. I don't know, I might just be maybe a nerd, but sometimes they're kind of entertaining. But Crash Course is great for getting big conceptual pieces is for what you're learning. Uh, Crash Course doesn't really give like in detail, you know, in-depth explanations as to, you know, getting to the mathematical reasoning for some of these uh, chemistry concepts, but what they do is that they really give a broad conceptual understanding to the topics so that you can at least understand what you're learning and understand what these equations later on may mean. I feel that conceptual pieces are the precursor to actually getting into more depth. They have an entire playlist filled with like 47 videos just covering chemistry. Not only do they do that, they also cover like organic chemistry and physics and tons of other topics. And if you're looking for a specific topic to see if that they cover, what I usually do is just go into their playlist and just control F and just type in whatever concept I'm trying to learn. And more than likely that video concept is going to pop up. Not only do they have their videos on YouTube, but they also have a website to which they have like worksheets, examples, and tons of different resources to help you learn the material. One downside about Crash Course is that they don't always provide that many examples in their videos, but that's where like some of these other channels are going to come into play. So I rate Crash Course a 9.5 out of 10. All right, so number two, we have the Organic Chemistry Tutor. Now this guy has tons of videos, like literally so many videos, and his videos get really into depth with some of these chemistry topics. And not only does he give uh, mathematical reasoning to the concepts that you're going to learn, but he gives tons of examples, which is really what helped me a lot when I took the class, because it's not always the case that you're going to get the same numbers or same, um, you know, situation for a certain topic. And it would be so helpful just to see an example that pertains to your specific case. And this man is like almost guaranteed to have that specific example or a certain circumstance to which you need to learn that. So I kind of messed up when I was. So yeah, his videos can be kind of time consuming but uh, they're definitely worth it if you want to get tons of practice on your material. And since his videos are so long, I kind of like to just keep them on while I'm like doing something more time consuming, but not mentally taxing, such as like, I don't know, maybe just like listening to his video when I'm like driving or I'm just eating, cooking, whatever. But he literally has videos on so many topics and he he knows what he's talking about, so uh, definitely check him out if uh, you guys want more practice and more examples. I rate his channel an 8.5 out of 10. Number three, we have Professor Dave Explains, and this man literally looks like Jesus himself. His videos are super simple, and I, what I really like that what he does is that he gives a bigger picture of what's happening. Um, and his videos are not too long, you know, like the longest his videos go are maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. So he usually starts off his videos by kind of giving a more conceptual based uh, concept of what's happening in uh, whatever concept you're talking about, maybe it's like thermodynamics or something. And uh, so he gives it like a more like a bigger picture, a conceptual piece, and then he follows that up by providing um, some examples as well. So it's like overall, it's like in that 10 to 15 minutes, you're learning a lot. And he has an entire playlist of nothing but chemistry videos of like 300 videos um, so I'll, I'll definitely like link all that stuff below um, I think that his videos were probably one of the easiest to watch just because of the way that he would talk uh, he would talk very slow and it really helps me kind of understand what's happening so I would rank his channel a 9 out of 10 and number four we have Melissa Maribel and uh, she provides a lot of videos uh, on the chemistry as well I believe her whole channel is just dedicated to chemistry at least for the most part she gives a lot of uh, visual uh, aids as well that really help to learn the actual uh, topics and sometimes she explains things in more detail and more depth than like someone like Professor Dave or Crash Course um, but also gives it where it's simple enough to where you know and uh, well paced enough to where it's not as long as the organic chemistry tutors videos you know they're like it's, it's a good sweet spot you know if you want to like spend maybe 20 to 30 minutes watching the video uh, that's you know filled with information and is very helpful but it's not like you're going to be sitting there for the next hour and a half and trying to 
muster up some focus just to get through that. She also has a lot of playlists that covered uh, nothing but chemistry topics. And uh, what I like about her videos as well is that they're very specific general chemistry topics. I know for me personally, when I'm struggling with a single chemistry topic and I'm looking it up on YouTube and um, I just can't find any video that covers that one thing, it can be super frustrating. But if there's just one video that I find that explains that one thing, um, that can make a world of difference. And she makes those videos that are very specified for your certain general chemistry topics, and uh, it really does help. Number five is the obvious one, but that is Khan Academy. Khan Academy is like the king of scholarly content, um, not only on just like YouTube, but their website, their app, everything is just, they have it laid out just so perfectly. Like they have uh, an entire like playlist on YouTube where it's just chemistry topics topics and uh, not only is it like well paced like each video is like not that long but they have it's nothing but visual aids right you never see the person who's talking about it you just see nothing but drawings and mathematical equations and stuff that really help you know learn the concept and uh, it's very simple as well you know it's not like they're trying to confuse you or they, they're trying to break it down as much as they possibly can and their playlist on YouTube is like 123 videos of just chemistry videos and uh, not only are those like the videos on, like on their YouTube but uh, on their website as well if you go check out their chemistry topics, uh, they have tons of different topics that they uh, cover. And what I really like about it is that you can go in order. And so you could like go with the class if you wanted to. And just like you can keep watching Khan Academy as like a, a supplemental videos to uh, whatever your class is. I mean, that's really what all these videos are and all these uh, channels are, right? Just supplemental information and uh, people explaining it to you. But uh, but sometimes that supplemental information could really be beneficial and can really prove to be a more essential kind of information. I was thankful enough to have a really good uh, chemistry professor and so uh, these a lot of these videos and uh, YouTube channels were really just like supplemental to what I was learning but uh, I know for other people that may not be the case but I truly do believe that they explain it just as good if not even a little bit better than my actual professors would do on campus and all this information is free online well, college is not so free. The main point is that you want as many tools as possible, right? As many resources as possible. You never know when you're gonna need it. And so, uh, you know, if an exam's coming up and you're really struggling to understand a certain concept, and maybe the tutors aren't doing a good job, or maybe just the way they're explaining it isn't helping you, you know, this could really come in clutch. 10 out of 10, Khan Academy. Next, we have Tyler DeWitt. Tyler do it. Tyler just do it. Tyler done did it. Okay, I'll stop. Tyler DeWitt is another great example of someone who provides a lot of visual aids that really help learning. He also provides a lot of examples and metaphors that make it easy to remember what a an isotope is. He has playlists for almost every chemistry topic, like such as like Vesper, um, thermodynamics, electrochemistry, oxidation and reduction reactions, and just so much more. Like just so many different topics that you will actually cover in your class. And what I really like about his content is that he talks very simply, clearly, concisely. Concisely? Is that a word? I don't think it is. He's good at explaining things, and he explains it as if I was 12 years old, which is ideal. I really enjoy his content. He's great at what he does, and I give his channel a 9.3 out of 10. I'm just making numbers up at this point. Next, we have Chem Academy. Although they haven't posted videos in about two years now, um, I think it's because they covered it all. They explained everything there was to know, and so they just stopped making videos. So that that should say enough. And what I like about it, it's, it's like, watching a lecture in your class, basically, uh, because uh, the videos are very specific. You know, it's not broad conceptual pieces. It's more of like, uh, here we're talking about the ideal gas law, and then uh, here we're talking about it again in a different sense. And, you know, basically you're getting the full picture of what is happening. Plus, they have very specific stuff on their channel, or something that's just not a conceptual piece, but something that's integral for the actual material. And I found that this really did help for like, if you ever do like Alex, which is something that I had to do for my chemistry class, or just like any homework really that you have to do for chemistry because that's really the class, right? It's nice having conceptual pieces uh, that kind of give the big picture, such as like crash course or whatever, but that, that can only take you so far and sometimes, and a lot of the times you're gonna need more information, very specific information. And sometimes that information is not readily available. So this channel really does cover a good portion of that anyways. And it explains it in good detail. I give them an 8.7 out of 10. 
I'm t I gotta stop. Next, we have Conquer Chemistry. If I had to like describe his videos, it'd probably be like short and simple videos to help you conquer chemistry. That that's how I would describe it. He does make a lot of good content. Um, his videos well paced. Um, obviously they're short videos and it makes it, uh, it makes it easier to actually get through it. Uh, that, I find that's a big issue, uh, or was a big issue for me when I took the class is that I would rather just not know the information than have to watch a 40 minute video. So it's nice if you could try and get a little bit of that information with a shorter video and maybe just build on top of that knowledge later. And another thing about his videos that I really like is that, uh, they really go into detail as well. Even though they're short videos, they're short videos that explain very specific topics topics in the class. There would be times when I would want to really know a certain chemistry topic and I feel like, you know, if I would have found a video on it or something, it would have really helped just by having a sliver of that same information, right? It would have been so helpful just to have one video that talks about it. And sometimes it would be a miracle if I were to find uh, the specific video that I was looking for for a specific chemistry topic. But it really shouldn't be a miracle because consider there's thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of students take chemistry per year, you know, if not more. So it's like there should be tons of content out here that help explain this information that's really the whole point of this video because sometimes you know there's certain videos that do help and uh, for more conceptual pieces but you know if you're trying to uh, just like learn the material and you know maybe you're just not picking it up you know it's finding that specific video that could really help you so I give this one a 8.7 out of 10. Next we have Bozeman Science and I've actually really liked his videos ever since high school uh, because the way that he formats his videos is basically like you're in class with him. You know how some professors they you know just put together this really shitty video with them talking over it and it's like I wouldn't watch this if I didn't have to, right? You know, it wouldn't help me. The way that his videos are is that like, it's like you're in class with him, you know, and he has like a PowerPoint just displayed up front. And the way that he explains the material is very straightforward. And I really like the way that he provides examples to the things that he's saying. Along with that, he also adds uh, visual aids and uh, he also adds like fun facts in there every now and then, which kind of like make you actually interested in learning the material because you know, just like other information about it you know it's not actually gonna like come up on a test or anything but it's like you know it's actually more interesting to kind of like learn more about it i feel like that really gives me like more more drive to actually learn more about that topic his videos are great 9.5 out of 10 and the last one is the chemistry solution and so this person has about uh 70 videos up on their page and so uh, just like all the other channels that I mentioned, the ones that are at least more specific, they cover more in detail of what's happening in the class. This actually does help a lot because, you know, it's just a matter of having more resources and uh, like basically hearing a second opinion or a second explanation uh, from someone else on that same uh, topic. So what I would usually do is that I would watch several different videos, um, as many as were offered first, uh, any topic that I was struggling with in the class. And uh, what I would do is I would watch everyone's video of who made a video about it, right? And what I found is like, I would look through all the videos and sometimes they would all be saying the same thing. And if I just didn't understand it, but if one person said it and I just happened to understand the way that they said it, whether they provided an example, a metaphor, whatever, and it really helped me learn it that way. And then I could, I go to that specific video from that specific person to actually like go back and refresh my memory and stuff. While the other videos I may understand now that I know the material, but it's that one video is really what would help me. So I really do not feel like you could have too many uh, different videos or uh, too many uh, resources uh, to help you learn. I feel like you can take as many things as you possibly can because you don't know what's gonna work. So this last one is really good because they just provide another uh, insight into chemistry topics. So I rate this one a nine out of 10. Anyways, that was all my ratings. I was the top 10 essential YouTube videos to learn general chemistry. Uh, so yeah, I use all these channels when I was uh, taking chemistry. And when I start getting ready for my MCAT, um, I'm gonna have to review all these videos and uh, I really feel like it's gonna help. And so, um, yeah, so let me know if you guys like this video. And uh, if you want to see more of me and my content, please hit a like button, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.